I don't know if that'll... I know it's not beer gas. Whoa, man. Will the UK Nitro step? Today, we're gonna see what happens if we put some stout beers in the UK Nitro. Now, this is advertised specifically for coffee, and pretty much everything I've read online is it's not a good idea, and, uh, well, it's not recommended. So, all I have is N2O gas, the one that came with the growler. I know it's not beer gas. You don't have to roast me in the comments. We're gonna charge it anyways. I don't know if you want to get a... Wow, ASMR. If you've ever had like a stout beer, a nitro stout beer at a bar, this is the key right here. It's like a little flow restrictor. It has, I think this one, yeah. So this one has five little holes and like a little spinning disc as you pour and this essential to get the cascading bubbles if you've ever had a Guinness at like on tap. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> we're just gonna fill it up. So the reason why we're testing this is uh, if we do trips to, you know, like Fernie, um, if you, you can get a $9 growler fill at local breweries, and if you can get a $9 growler fill with stout and have nitro stout while you're fishing or camping, that's gonna be sick. Ooh. Are we filling the whole thing up? I think so, yeah. Nice. It's a little foamy. I'm pretty sure like at least a, a half of it in there is foam right now. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, we're gonna let it settle down a little bit. Yeah. This will definitely fit three pints. This is a two liter keg, yeah. 64 ounces. Yeah. And these are pint, one pint each. Yeah. So we'll get it. Last pint going in. All right. That's three pints of stout in. You wanna get the dial? I'm just gonna pressurize it all the way, I think. Sounds like a... Uh, some sort of creature. Why does it sound like that? Well, it's stout. <laughs> hocktail rye milk stout. It's a new one to us. We've tried the hocktail sour. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. Well, I have a little dr little dram of that. See what it tastes. Yeah. Save some for whoever. So we're gonna do this as a control. It smells good. It does smell good. Sink we'll it control. and sink it. It's a nice beer, actually. Only, it's really good. It's mild. It's kind of more hoppy than I was expecting. See, it's got that bitter, yeah, bitter, that bitter hop. taste. Um, yeah, solid beer. Solid, I mean, man. I'd get it again. Yeah. I have a feeling this is gonna be a cup of foam. Well, you shook the hell out of it, dude. For well, you bit. need to yeah. <laughs> to infuse the nitrogen in. This is kind of just a test. Will it work, right? You ready? Yeah, man. Give it a shot. Dude, actually, that looks, it's a big head on it, but it's... Is it all foam, though? No, you got a, you got a, about a half inch right on the, oof. I don't know if that'll peek up there. It'll be hard to see on camera, but the bubbles are a lot smaller a already. Finer. Yeah, more of a... Compared to the CO2 bubbles. It looks like a nice beer. I did also turn the PSI down to about... It's sitting at Dude. around 8 PSI. That looks legit. So just comparison, the second pour. Dink. It's too late, you already, you already sucked it down. 
Whoa, man. Mm. That transformed dude. the beer, dude. I actually want more of the head on it. <laughs> it's just like... Should we, we should we turn the PSI up and maybe try it with pull another PSI? Yeah. So, so far, first impression, uh, will it stout? 100% yeah. man. Yeah, it'll stout. Especially, it's... so, like, four cans, so 64 ounces of this beer was yeah. $16 and you're getting four cans. Yeah. If you go to a brewery, if you're on the road camping or something, you're what, you probably get bucks a, a pint, maybe? Nine bucks a growler. Yeah, here's like the comparison. So you, in in a bar, you're gonna let's say you get a full pint glass. This is a pint glass. You get a full pint glass, which is gonna be about one can of that. You're paying about nine bucks, probably nine bucks for yep. a glass on tap. Yep. So you're looking at 90, 27, 36 bucks, and then you're looking at sixteen bucks, seventeen bucks for four. Fill this growler. You're looking at nine bucks. Yeah. Like you're getting four pints, four times the amount of beer than you would be getting in a. Um, at a, a liquor store or yeah. a, a if you, bar. If you factor in the the N two O as well, it's mm -hmm. gonna cost a little bit more. But so far, I'm impressed. My God, it's actually surprising. We only <laughs> let it infuse for two, two minutes. minutes. Yeah. I wonder how it would be if you let it infuse overnight. How much is the UK? Uh, I think in Canada. If you look out on Amazon, you can get it right around two hundred dollars, two hundred fifty bucks. That looks really good. Like, tell me you wouldn't just want to suck that back in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Will the UK egg nitro stout? Mm -hmm. Yes, hundred percent. Even the even with the nitrous oxide that the growler comes <clears throat> with, yeah, I, w I would I would use it. I would do that again. Yeah, I, uh, I enjoy it. I think that's a win, 100%. Imagine having four of these on the tailgate. <laughs> Just like... Yeah. <laughs> It'd be so <laughs> sweet. Be pretty nice. Yeah. You could just have like your own like bar. Yeah. Now, is it a Guinness? Mm. No, it's not a Guinness. No. Is it's it pretty better? Is it, is it better than just a carbon, like a CO2 infused Dude, it's stout? pretty it's... damn close to a Guinness. Like I would say like mouthfeel, like creamy, just like slides back mm -hmm. it's nice so yeah i would say that's a wrap for this one um yeah. hopefully you enjoyed it stay tuned yeah. all of our uh, social media accounts we'll social media links. social media will be linked in the description yeah at the the ftr lifestyle and ftr outdoors uh, and then stay tuned for more youtube to come shall we shall we wait hold up hold up <laughs> Jordan! <laughs> That's legit, man. That works so well.